This video will demonstrate using a conditional function to make a Boolean layer using ArcGIS Pro. Namely, the con function in the raster calculator will be demonstrated. The data being used for this demonstration is a digital elevation model of Mount St. Helens. And so the con function that I'll be demonstrating can be used to convert pixel values in a raster. And the function applies a user-defined condition. And if that condition is true, it assigns a particular value as defined by the user. And if that condition is false, the function applies a second different value that is also defined by the user. So let's take a look at this. So first we want to open up the raster calculator and we can do a search from the geoprocessing pane and we find the raster calculator. We want to select the raster calculator associated with the spatial analyst tools. And from here, we go over to Tools, and we want to scroll down below this list of relational operators, and we find the con function here. If we double-click on it, we see it's added to the expression box. Next, we want to define that condition. And so first, I want to add in my uh, raster input. And since this is... Uh, a raster showing elevation. If we look over at the contents pane, we can see that the values range from 2,251 to 8,342. I'm going to specify a condition here. I'm looking for uh, values greater than 7,000. So I'll build an expression here. So I've got my input raster. Let's scroll up to my relational operators and select greater than and then enter in 7000 and if this condition is true I want a value of 1 to be assigned to those cells so after a first comma following the condition I've, I've specified I'll add a 1 and if that condition is not true or it's false I want a value of zero to be assigned so I will add a second comma and after that I will add a zero so we can think about this expression here it's basically reading as if the elevation of a given cell is greater than 7000 assign a value of 1 if the elevation is equal to or less than 7,000 assign a value of zero. Now I also want to uh, give a name to this output so I'll just call this um, Helen's over 7,000 and then I can click run. And we see that the output is shown here on the map. And we can look and see that we have values of 0 and 1. And that's also reflected here on the map. And so we can see those uh, cells that had a value of over 7,000 now have a 1. If we click on just a, a random cell here, we can see, indeed, it has a value of 1. If we click on a random cell out here, we can see that indeed has a value of 0.